TV Goiset presenteras av Netcomp. Uh, welcome back here. Thank you. It's uh, it's good to be back. How was your flight? Pretty long, but uh, the, I didn't have a long layover like last time, and I'm feeling good getting all settled in, so it's good. How many hours on the plane? Uh, 11, and then a two-hour layover, so it has been a long day. I'm pretty tired, but it's good. <laughs> Tell us about your previous visit here in Sweden. I enjoyed it. Um, lived in this nice little house that we're sitting by, and uh, the people treated me very nicely. And hopefully this time we can make the team better and do better things with the team. And hopefully I can get as many points as whatever. It doesn't really matter as long as the team does well. Uh, you scored mo most points in your first season over here. Could we expect the same this year? I hope so. It's one of my goals. I mean, I'm not going to get too ahead of myself, but uh, I just, you know, I just want the team to do well. I did, it doesn't matter if I do lead the league or get 10 points this year, as long as the team does well. And uh, I'm not going to be selfish and try and do it myself because that's not how I play hockey. And uh, I met Daniel, and he seems like a nice guy. And hopefully, me and him can click together and make this team go to where it should be. Do you know his nickname now? Yeah, I can't remember it now. Uh, Penguin, sorry, I got it. Uh, I don't really get why, but <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to stick with the Penguin and call him that all year. So, Tell us about your last year. Well, last, year last year just kind of took it easy. Uh, spent some time with the family. Hadn't uh, been home for a winter and probably like I said, seven or eight years. So uh, I just wanted to watch my little sister grow up and kind of get to know my other one again because I missed so many years with her. And uh, Same with my brother. He's almost 16, almost getting to be able to drive. He's asking me for my car and stuff like that. So it was nice to kind of spend some time with them. And same with my mom and my stepdad. And uh, just kind of take a year off from hockey and see if, that's what I really wanted to do, and I really missed it, so I'm back here and I plan to have some fun and do my best. Uh, you were about to come over here tomorrow uh, last year, but you changed your mind. Yeah, just just about the family reasons, and I definitely considered coming back here. Uh, that's what I really wanted to do, and I, you know, I probably I maybe should have, but I, I enjoyed my time at home, and uh, I knew that, well, I didn't know, but I kind of hoped that you guys would want me back, and here I am, so I'm I'm pretty excited. We're, we're excited as well. Awesome. And, and now you're looking forward to the new season. Yeah, I mean, I met a Daniel, like I said, and I met the coach today, and uh, they both greeted me awesome, and I met a couple of the guys, actually, too, at Daniel's place. And it seemed like a great bunch of guys, and hopefully we can click and take her from there. Which people uh, did you meet? <laughs> Don't put me on the spot like that. I'm not very good with names. <laughs> Big buff? Uh, I'm not too sure. One guy was huge. Uh, Tell me more about about him, the huge guy. Well, I thought it was Daniel at first. I was like, holy, I haven't seen a Canadian that big in a while. And then I met him in the living room after. But but, but got to be in Big Buff, in Mono Yeah. Uh, He's kind of, well, I guess most of the Swedes are blonde, but yeah. uh, no, I can't remember his name. I was ner I'm was i nervous when I first meet people, so I'm a little shy, but uh, no, they greeted me well, and yeah, they seemed like they were nice to Daniel, and that's all that matters. And you've been working out hard during the summer? Yeah, I definitely, I came in on a different approach this year. I just tried to uh, run and Still kept my muscle on, but uh, tried to get my weight down a little bit more than I came in last time, and hopefully I'll be a little faster and shifter, shiftier out there, and uh, 
hard to handle on the ice. Could you tell us more about uh, Horse Lake Chiefs and uh, Bakersfield Condors and your previous clubs? Yeah, um, Horse Lake was a fun experience. Uh, I got to fly there for the weekend and then fly back home and um, so I could be with my family. I didn't do that for very long because it, it did get old just flying there, flying back, being on an airplane for three hours, layover, and then, yeah, so. Um, and then Bakersfield was a experience I I didn't I I liked it there and I didn't like it there I wasn't having that much fun and I knew I kind of wanted to be here when I was there so I I uh, told the coach that uh, I was gonna go home and just kind of hang out and then I ended up playing in Horse Lake and Watrous in a little town by my place and uh, just had fun and went on a couple trips and yeah. <laughs> and now you're back here and you really like it here in Karlsson and Morum. Yeah, I actually I love it here. I it was pretty cool coming back to this old house and driving through Morum and just being like, oh, I remember this. I know how to get here and I haven't went into Karlsson yet. I wonder if it's changed at all, but uh, probably I'll see that. Tomorrow. Not much. Not not much. No. But uh, yeah, it was it was neat flying into the in the Copenhagen and just kind of catching my bearings and getting familiar with things again. Which is your favorite place here in Malum Kalsam? Uh, I actually really like it out here. It's I like this little house and just being so peaceful, sitting by the little creek and yeah, I just this is what I like. Just hang out and. Free dinner? Free dinner. <laughs> and uh, I just want to comment about the rink. The rink looks awesome. I, I seen the pictures and the pro progress that uh, happened over the summer, and I think the guys did a very good job. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, and fans are uh, overjoyed to see you back here. Yeah, I'm, hopefully I can give them what they want and keep them happy. You like the t-shirt? I do, yeah. My, I think my parents and my grandparents and all my friends and they're all going to order them. I told them I'd... <laughs> it's kind of funny because my face is on the front, but <laughs> it's a pretty cool uh, thing to have. Thanks, Kia. You're welcome.